Hi Star Wars fans, Jonesy the Mandalorian here from the Hyperspace Database, bringing you another great topic. The HMP Droid Gunship. The Heavy Missile Platform Droid Gunship, or HMP Predator Gunship, was a droid repulsor lift craft created by the Geonosians and manufactured by the Heor Chal Engineering Corporation and Boktoid Fleet Ordnance Corporation. The gunship was 41 feet long, 36 feet wide, and 10 feet high. It possessed ion drive engine units that allowed the droid to reach speeds of 373 miles per hour in atmosphere. It was extremely well armed, with one medium laser cannon in front, two double laser cannon turrets on either side of the main cannon, and two wingtip light laser cannons, with two multi-missile racks underneath each of its wings, which could hold up to a total of 14 missiles though these could be switched out to hold torpedoes or concussion bombs, depending on the needs of the situation. The Separatist droid gunship was a heavy weapons platform for the Confederacy of Independent Systems during the Clone Wars, and was used as a missile boat as well as a troop deployment vessel, as it was known for deploying B-2 super battle droids into war zones, as well as allowing BX series commando droids to ride on top of it during flight. This ship was like several other ships for the CIS, in that it was a droid and possessed a droid brain, like the Tri-Fighter and Vulture droids, not to mention all the other droid machines like the Spider Walker and Hailfire droid tank, for example. These ships were developed to rival the Republic's very effective LAAT gunship series, and with their very heavy weaponry, were easily able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Republic troop gunships. Not only did it have heavy weaponry, but it was also equipped with ray shields, which deflected most small arms fire as well as concussive ordnance, like thermal detonators, for example. One drawback to the craft was that it was not as fast or nimble as many other starfighters, though compared to many light land vehicles or air speeders, it was very dangerous and caused an incredible amount of damage to ground targets. The gunship was introduced fairly late into the Clone Wars, as it was preceded by the mechanized assault flyer, which was a piloted craft that was not quite as well armed or armored. The HMP was first seen in the Clone Wars during the Onderon campaign, which was seen in the fifth season of the Clone Wars TV show. The temperate world of Onderon was a mostly peaceful planet, that is, until the Separatists came and allied themselves with a local, known as Sanjay Rash. Rash would undermine the legitimate ruler, Ramses Dendup, and usurp his throne, throwing the king into solitary confinement. This would not sit well with the people of Onderon, though, and rebels arose to fight against the tyrannical Separatist king. After the rightful king was rescued from a failed public execution, the Onderon rebels, aided by Ahsoka Tano, were able to flee to the mountain terrain outside the main capital city, and there strategized to free the people from Separatist rule. As the rebels prepared to fight against the incoming droid forces, the droid tactician General Kalani deployed four of the HMP gunships to destroy the rebels. And while many of the rebels were killed, the HMPs were eventually shot down, due to the help of rocket launchers delivered by Hondo Anaka. The HMP gunship was later seen with its B-2 Super Battle Droid deployment rack, attempting to infiltrate Obi-Wan Kenobi's flagship, the Negotiator, as per a strategy by General Grievous. Gunships were also present during the battles of Ringo Vinda and the invasion of Scipio, as well as many more fights for the Separatists. One of the largest fleets of HMP gunships was seen during the Battle of Kashyyyk in the movie Revenge of the Sith, when the Wookiee warriors established their beachhead and charged the ranks of the incoming droid forces. Many of the HMPs wreck havoc on the clone forces and Wookiee troops, though several are brought down by timely assistance from the mobile Wookiee catamarans and fluttercraft, while the ground forces take out the NRN-99 Persuader tanks as well as droid infantry troops. One of these HMP droid gunships actually manages to score a hit very near where Master Yoda was observing the battle, though the Jedi Master didn't take any damage. After the events of Revenge of the Sith, most of these droid ships were deactivated and mothballed with the rest of the Separatist forces, though some would later be reactivated and used in a second droid uprising over the planet Mustafar, as seen in the Battlefront 2 video game, where the Geonosian Gizor Delso tries to seize power with a droid factory. Fun fact, many of the Predator gunships that attacked Coruscant near the end of the Clone Wars had this strange symbol on their wings, which it turns out is the emblem of the ruler of the mid-rim planet Karam V, whose name was Edo Eamon, and who supplied the CIS with many of the droid ships, as well as stockpiling his own personal private fleet of them. Here's another interesting thing. The body design of the heavy missile platform was based off of early Attack of the Clones concept designs for the Republic gunship, as you can see the disc shape and ball turrets were adapted to suit the final design of the HMP. 
The heavy missile platform was a dangerous attack craft used by the Separatists during the Clone Wars, and it was a great contender to the Republic gunship, as well as a fearsome sight to ground troops and bases, as its incredible arsenal enabled it to make destructive strafing and bombing runs to maximize carnage and demoralize enemy units. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you want to know about Star Wars topics just like this one, be sure to check out my other videos, hit those like and subscribe buttons, and the bell to be notified every time I publish a new video. Be sure to chat with me in the comments too, because I really like talking to you. Super special shout out to my Gold Captain level Patreon supporters, Miss2003, Matthew Scott, and Nick Sutphin. Your support is so appreciated and you keep the show running. Thank you very, very much. Be sure to stick around to the end for some secret trivia, and you can follow the show on social media for more news and channel updates. Thank you very, very much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.